Hello and welcome. My name is Bonnie and today I am at Taco Bell. Just kidding, I am not at Taco Bell today. I am at the East Bay Comic Con and you can see it has quite a line already built up to get tickets. My husband is saving my place in line. Um, so I'm not worried about that. But it has been very windy and very cold, so hopefully the line moves quickly so that we can get inside and get cover from the wind. But I will see you inside. Before the place gets too full, I'll take you on a quick walk around down in the lower area. The halls, there's two halls that have all of the merchants in there. Those don't open for another 15 minutes, but in the meantime, let me take you down here. So there's still some empty spots at the tables. Not all the artists have arrived yet. Um, they just have their little name plates, but they have not showed up yet. And it is about 10 minutes to go time. And if they're not 10 minutes early, then they're late. Am I right? So um, just kind of chilling out down here until the halls open up and I can go see what merch they're selling.
back home now and to be honest with you it's actually the next day I didn't have a good time to film after the con so I'm doing it now I wanted to come back and wrap things up a little bit I had a very nice time there was a lot of cool cosplays and I bet if I had stayed later in the day there would have been even more amazing cosplays because there was the costume contest at the end of the day and I left probably like three hours before that so I'm sure a lot more cool people showed up but I loved what I saw while I was there and I loved going around to the merchants seeing what they had to sell it is a very small con it's very small um so there was not a whole lot to do I feel like you can really like make laps around the place and see everything pretty quickly but I still have a good time and it's not too expensive to get in so that's that's important <laughs> Um, and I figured I should just go ahead and show you what I got from the East Bay Comic Con 2020. So the first thing that I knew that I wanted to buy was artwork. And I wanted one with Rey and Kylo Ren together, whether it be fighting or they're looking lovingly into each other's eyes. I didn't care. I wanted Rey and Kylo Ren together on one piece of paper but I did not find that. None of the artists there were selling something like that, which was very unfortunate for me because that's what I was actively looking for. So um, I had to get over that little hurdle of disappointment, but there is an artist that I usually buy from every time I see his stuff because it's beautiful. Um, his name is Rob Gardner and he goes by the Art of Guard. And I did buy some pieces from him. First being this Luke Skywalker collage of him through the years. I think that this is just simply beautiful. There's his X-Wing there at the bottom. Just all these different iterations of Luke. I think it's stunning. And also the artist signed it right here when I purchased it. And that's really cool. So this is so impressive. That's so much work. So many different pieces all placed onto one collage. I know he does like digital, digital art. Um, so that's really cool. But then I did buy another one from him. And this one is an Obi-Wan Kenobi collage. And I am a huge fan of Obi-Wan Kenobi. He is my favorite Star Wars character aside from Padme Amidala. You, you don't find much artwork of her. If I find artwork of her, I'm buying it. But it does, it's, it's not really around, it's not really around. People don't really acknowledge her very much, which is a shame. Cause she's got some stunning outfits. Anyway, so this is, <laughs> this is my Obi-Wan Kenobi collage. This is really beautiful. It's got a, uh, a Tatooine homestead down here at the bottom with the twin sons. And he signed this one as well. So these are what I got. These are the only two art pieces that I bought. The next thing I want to show you is something you got a little sneak peek of in the video itself, which is the autograph that I got from Gigi Edgley. Now I know her from the show Farscape and that's something that I watched growing up. I watched that with my dad back when we had to order Netflix DVDs through the mail. Um, but I really loved her character. It resonated with me as a young woman and I just really liked her. I thought she was really cool. Um, so it was, actually a surprise to see her there today. I didn't know that, I didn't know what talent was going to be there, um, but it was really cool and she was super nice and very chatty, very warm and welcoming. I'm sure she has a lot of experience at comic cons and signings, so she kind of knows how to steer the conversation. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the autograph I got from her. Now, it's a little hard to see because she did use a gold pen on a goldish background, so it's gonna be a little hard to see. But it says, hey beautiful Bonnie, big love, you rock our Frelin universe, which is super sweet. So oh, maybe, maybe you can see it there now, just depending on the angle. Um, and then she signed over her image. And I chose to get the cast photo instead of one of the photos of her by herself. I kind of am s sort of regretting that. I kind of do wish I had gotten one of just her, but in the moment, this was my decision, so I'm sticking with it. Um, but this was really cool, and it was a really nice experience getting to meet her. 
I have two more things to show you that I bought. The first being a little Disney pin. And this is Prince Philip. He is from Sleeping Beauty, if you do not recall him and his name. He's from Sleeping Beauty, and he is my favorite Disney prince. He uh, did a lot for his lady, took down a whole dragon, so that's pretty impressive in my opinion. Um, so that's the first of the last two. And this is the second of the two, and it's going to come in a little velvet bag. Now, um, my brother actually bought this first, and then he showed me, and then I copied him. So it's his fault for showing me, right? <laughs> but here, I have got the Infinity Stone Ring, which is gorgeous and very impressive. And it has written in the side of the ring the names. One side says Power, Mind, Soul, and the other says Reality, Space, Time. Um, so that's, it's a really, it's a thick, this is a big ring. Um, I feel so powerful. If I like punch you, get knocked out with the weight of this ring, <laughs> but I might wear it as um, a necklace or I might wear it as a ring, whatever, however I'm feeling. But that is the last thing that I bought today. Thank you for coming along with me on my trip to the East Bay Comic Con 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And I hope to see you again soon. So until next time, goodbye and good luck.